This is the first screencast in a four-part introduction to using the Theme Builder in Drupal Gardens. This is really for people who are brand new to Drupal Gardens. In it, I'll show you how to change the look of your website using the Theme Builder tool, and you'll see how to select from a variety of themes. When using some quick touches, you can change the layout and the color scheme of your site. So first, we're going to take a quick general introduction to this site. You can see here, we're starting out with a site I've prepared earlier. I've changed the website name, the slogan, I've added some banner images, and a web form. You can actually output a block from the web form module and place it in the sidebar. There are other screencasts on how to configure unique functionality like this and control the layout of your site. In this way, you can combine the block placement and get different layouts. Layout means where something should appear. In this screencast, we're going to focus on appearance or what should it look like. The great thing about this separation is you can change the look of your site easily and you don't have to reconfigure your layouts or change functionality. So let's open up the theme builder. Click on appearance. So now we'll take a quick tour of the basic functions of the themes, brand, layout, and styles tab. In the themes tab, you can see a number of these themes that are available. Each one has a completely different look. For example, here's the carbon theme. You can save themes you're working on into My Themes. When they're not live, that means only you can see them. So I'm going to save this one here as Carbon Test. If I have old themes I don't want to use, I can delete them. For now, I'm going to switch back to the Minima theme. You can see I just logged in and I have an update available to me. It's really important to update your theme. Any improvements made in Drupal Gardens often require theme updates in order to use them. If you're a little nervous about any impact an upgrade will have, you can do a save or a save as. This creates another version. You can even use version numbering to keep track of changes. So now I'm going to look at the color schemes under the brand tab. Depending on your theme, these color schemes can have different effects. In Minima, the background stays white, with just changes to the accent colors. See, for example, with Carbon, there isn't a huge change in the way the site looks, mainly just the changes to the text color. On the other hand, with the impact theme or even the campaign theme, the color schemes you choose vary the look widely. So you probably just want to take a look at these different themes and see which one might suit you, and they can be a great starting point. So next, we're going to look at the Layout tab. I'm going to switch back again to my Minima theme that I'm working on now and go over to the Layouts tab. You can see that this C column on the left and the A column on the right is what I have selected now. So I could either change a layout so that I had no sidebars at all, or I can change a layout which places sidebar A on the left. And I can choose then to apply this change to all pages or just apply it to this page. So in that way, you could actually have uh, different layouts for different landing pages. So next thing we're going to do is go to the Styles tab. And in the Styles tab, I can actually change the font and the uh, color of the text and the color and background and borders of any elements on this page. I have to click an element in order for this, the style options to work, like this uh, background here and I'm going to make this a light gray. You can immediately see what changes you're making. Uh, next, I'll select specific elements like this title here and change the color. And then I can even add a border under this as well. I like to save as I'm working to make sure any changes are captured. Though keep in mind, this new design isn't actually live yet. Now that I like the look of the site, I am ready to publish. When I click Publish, my new theme goes live and the thumbnail's been updated and it's indicating to me that this uh, theme is ready. So in this screencast, we saw how you can customize and create your own Drupal Gardens theme. And you saw how you can manage alternate themes and keep on top of those new updates. In the next screencast, I'll show you how to get more fine-grained control over the look of your site using the Theme Builder. And if you have any questions, Please join us on the forums at DrupalGardens.com.